Welcome to the Great Debate pre-game show. I'm your host, Dr. Raymond Sai, joined by AppPoint's premier Office 365 analyst, Hunter Willis. Hunter, am I overhyping this to say that this is the most important discussion that any two human beings ever had? No, not at all, Ducks. What you have here are two of the foremost technical minds in the Office 365 games a day. While this could be seen as a debate over whether or not you need a third-party backup tool, I think you're going to see a lot of more nuance from our debaters here. I'm expecting to see the need to make intelligent decisions about the technology you've bought type of equivocating out there. Mm. So, Hunter, let me ask you directly. What are the stakes of today's debate? In a word, Ducks, everything. Our debaters are going to be talking about the backup strategies and data protection for Office 365. You simply don't get higher stakes than that in the Office 365 game, my friend. Hunter, what we have here are two season vents. These aren't rookies that are coming in bright-eyed into the spotlight. I don't expect them to see them circling each other for too long. I'm thinking this is going to be action-packed from the word go. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Ducks. Tony is one of the game's heavyweights. We're talking 17-time Microsoft MVP. He's most well-known now as a Petri column and author of Office 365 for IT pros, but he's written 10, I mean 10 books on Exchange alone. This is not someone who's shy with an opinion that he has. He's done some great work calling out backup vendors for their over-the-top claims and has probably done more work than any other one person trying to get admins ready for the paradigm shift into the cloud. This sometimes means asking hard questions like, do you really need backup? And I gotta tell you, John Hodges with AppPoint, he's no slouch either, Hunter. This is a guy who has taken the AppPoint Cloud backup solution to where it is today. He knows every ins and outs of the backup game. We're talking hundreds and thousands of customer case studies and scenarios at his fingertips. He's seen just about every move, every argument, and every type of backup needs. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Ducks. And these guys have a history. Tony published a very buzzworthy article titled Questioning Six Reasons Why Backing Up Office 365 is Critical. And then you had John Hodges hitting mm. him right back with the response blog a few days later. These are two debaters that are familiar with one another's styles, and they've been in the ring before, but never live like this. So, Hunter, let me ask you, how does Tony win? Well, Ducks, that's a great question. He's got his work cut out for him, Ducks. He's going to have to really rely on Office 365 retention policies and the full capabilities of native, native Office 365 tools. We all know Office 365 provides some robust protection, but is he going to be able to cover every single scenario or outcome admins are facing out there today? That's really the big question here. I think he has to come out swinging and put John on the defensive mm. right out of the gate around likelihoods of different scenarios. He can't let a scenario go by unchallenged. And remember here, Tony isn't trying to prove you don't need backup, just that you need to know what will work and when when it comes to administrating Office 365. And Docs, what are your thoughts, right? How is John going to pull all this off against Tony in these debates? Hunter, listen, John has the moves, but does he have the killer instinct? He's known around the office as a nice guy, and that doesn't win debates. He needs to really hammer home admin permission protection, retention errors, and all the scenarios where data is lost every single day. You have to think, he has his work cut out for him. He has to convince people to move beyond the status quo into acquiring some additional protection. It's going to be heck of a debate, Hunter. Yeah, Ducks, you know, I really feel like this is too close to call. You know, everyone's just going to have to tune in on October 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern to find out who wins. You can register at appoint.com backslash events for the great Office 365 debate.